Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday morning Pilates. Ah, let's go ahead and start with a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. in through the nose, and as you exhale, stretch over forward. Let the head release. Deep breath in, and exhale. One more deep breath in, and exhale. Let's come up and take a nice neck roll around. Here we go. Oh, hear a little cracking in there. <laughs> and let's go the other way. Nice and slow. Move one leg forward, one leg back, and stretch. Another deep breath in. And exhale. Coming up and switch to the other leg. Here we go. Back and switch. Deep breath in, and exhale, good, taking the legs apart, sitting up tall, turn and face the leg, and stretch down, and just hold that stretch, pushing the small of the back here, deep breath in, exhale, and bring it over, and stretch. And to the other side, focusing on the breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And then bring the arm through and over. All right, and stretching down and forward. Go as far as you can. We'll do this again at the end. Hopefully it'll be a little bit easier. All right, and come back up and let's do a lower back stretch today. I'm gonna push my camera back a little bit. There we go. Okay, here we are, so sitting up. You wanna keep both sit bones on the ground. One hand here, lift this arm up, and I'm gonna walk this hand out. I'm walking, walking as far as I can, but keep this, don't let that lift. Keep it down, good, and breathe. You should feel that stretch right here. In the oblique, a little bit lower back, but now we're gonna take it more into the lower back, come forward, grab here, and then pull yourself down. Try to pull that head to the knee. You're really gonna feel that stretch right in the lower back. It's a hard area to stretch, and I find this is the best one. So deep breath in, and then just come up slowly. And let's do the other side. And over. Okay, it's a balloon stretch here first. Then reaching forward, grabbing on. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhaling. Release and come up slowly. Ah, feels good. Okay, down to our mats. Here we are. And stretch the leg. Right leg up. I'm going to flex and point the foot. Flex and point. Bring it in a little closer if you can. Ah, flex and point. You're getting a good stretch all down the hamstring, back of the knee. Good, cross it over. If you need to stay here, that's fine. If you can, grab through and stretch. And let's rock a little side to side. All right. 
Okay. Bring the foot down, take the arms out to the side, and then I'm gonna come over towards you, my leg, but I'm gonna look over my right shoulder. This is a good back stretch. Take a deep breath in and exhale. All right, come back to the center. And you should also feel that stretch in the pectorals right in here. You switch legs, left leg up and flex and point the foot. Pull the leg closer to you. Good. Breath in and exhale. All right, cross it over. Bring it in. Good. Okay. Got it. All right. Rock a little side to side. This also helps stretch right in here, a little bit into that lower back, but through the glute. That's where you're stretching. All right, leg down, arms out to the side. I'm going to go over towards my right and look over my left shoulder. Deep breath in and exhale. One more deep breath in and exhale. Okay, back to the center. Good. Bring the knees in. Rock a little side to side. We're going to go right into tabletop from here. Good. Here we are. And we'll go into the single leg stretches, stretching one leg out at a time, out and hold and switch. Two and three. If you need to support the head, put one hand behind. Four and five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nice and slow. Point the toe. Eight more. One. And two. Exhaling. As you extend. See if you can lift the shoulders higher. Seven. And last one. Eight. Okay, good job. Bring it down. Rocking side to side. Hands behind the head. Good. We're going to go ahead. Bring the shoulders up. Extend the legs. Good. Come back down. Up. Extend the legs. And down. Good. Just for eight. Here we go. Up. Extend those legs out. Make sure that lower back stays on the mat. All right, so you don't want to have the legs too far out. Mine are kind of up, as you can see. If I go too far out, I'm going to lift my lower back. So I can only go right about there. Four more. Up. Extend. And down. Up. Extend. Two more. And down. Oh, last one. Up. Okay, bring it down. Good work. That's a tough one. Here we go. Crisscross for 16. Shoulders up off the mat. And one, two, pulse the leg. One, two, three, here we go. And four, five, six, seven, eight more. Breathe. Good. Exhaling as you extend. Four more. And seven. Oh, you should feel 
Start to feel in that core really engaging and working. Here we go, bring it down. Next side. All right, hands behind the head. Feet are here, cross. And again, bringing the hips up. And then right back there. Then up. And here, if you can't lift your hips up off the ground, that's okay. Just break the legs here and play with it. Go as far down as you can without lifting that lower back. I'm right about here as far as my legs can go. And I'm just keeping that lower back, pulling that belly button in, right? And not lifting. Good, that's it. And if you can, lift. Okay, eight more. Breathe. Right. Really focus mind, body. What is your tummy doing? What is your lower back doing? Does it hurt? Work through the pain. Okay, challenge yourself. And one more. Oh, you got this. Okay, bring it down. Back a little side to side. Take a stretch. One leg up, one leg out. Shoulders up off the mat. Here we go. Pulling that leg as close to you as possible. Try to keep that knee straight. I got a little bend. It's okay if you got a little bend. Right. Here we go. In my youth, I used to be able to get my leg all the way down by my ear during my ballet days. Not so much now. Four more. Two. Three. And four. All right. Nice work. Bring it down. Rocking a little bit side to side. We're going to roll up into that boat. Okay. Here we go. You gotta bring your knees back a little. And up. Oh, there it is. Good. Into the boat. And hold. Arms out. Breathe. And from here, we're gonna roll like a ball. And coming back down onto the shoulders. And then up. Whoops. Don't let the feet touch like I just did. Okay, here we go. Back again. In, up. If you want to challenge when you're up, let go. Extend a little and bring it in. Back, up, extend, and in. Good. Otherwise, just stay and hold. Good. Two more. And last one. Here we are. Hold it. Breathe. Count back from 10. Eight, seven, six. Chest up. Four, three, two. Bring it down. <laughs> nice work. Let's go ahead. Get the feet on the ground. Hands by the side. Relaxing the shoulders. Making sure that your feet are your weight evenly, yeah, your weight is evenly distributed onto your feet. Say that three times fast. So I want to have my big toe and pinky toe and heel all weight evenly distributed. Feet are parallel and forward. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze the glutes. Here we go. Coming up. Up into that bridge. Hold. You should feel all stretching through here, top of the knees, glutes are tight, shoulders relaxed. Okay, down and up for eight. Here we go. Down and up. And two. And three. Good. Four more. And we're going to hold it on that last one up. And two. 
to maybe look great out there. And three. Okay, last one. We're going to hold it up. Here we go. Hold it up. Squeeze the tush. I'm holding. I'm squeezing. Good. From here, I'm going to bring thighs together and then back up. And two. Squeezing those inner thighs. And three. And four. Seven, one more. Eight, hold it up. Squeeze. Now I'm going to release the tush and squeeze. Release and squeeze. So I'm not thinking about dropping my hips or using my back. My tush is tight, tight right here. When I release it, see how my hips come down, my little ASIS bones? When I squeeze, they come back up. For 32, here we go. It's a squeeze. And two, and three and four, good, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Keep squeezing, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, 16 more. Getting ready for those Labor Day shorts. <laughs> My shorts are down to here now. No, I have short shorts. There we go, and I'm gonna wear them. And five, six, seven and eight good bring it down bring the knees in and rock a little side to side and from here take the legs straight up and out to the side for the stretch there we go deep breath in and exhale just relax see if you can kind of see how i'm doing i'm kind of moving my legs and just in my hips a little. Letting my legs fall into this position nice and easy, not forcing anything. Deep breath in and exhale and flex the feet, bring the knees in, Good. then point the feet and extend out. Good. Two more. Flex. And point. Last one, flex. And point. Good. I'm going to help my legs and bring them back together. And I'm going to criss cross the legs and open. Criss cross. And when I do this, I'm thinking of squeezing the inner thighs together. Squeeze, squeeze. Open, squeeze, squeeze, open. Controlling the movement, pointing my toes, and squeeze, open, squeeze, squeeze. Four more, one, and two, three, and four, okay. Bring it down, four leg circles. One leg up. You can either keep the ski bent or straighten the leg. When you straighten the leg, it makes it a little more difficult to get that circle around because you have to keep this hip on the mat. If you put your foot like this, it'll help you to push that hip in. Here we go, clockwise, one and two and you can play around with it see how you do here three and then go to straighten the leg and you can feel the difference how it's really pulling in that inner oblique here and making it work and eight and reverse one pull the tummy in two three four six Seven, eight, okay, good, let's switch legs. Left leg up, try it with the knee bent first if you're not used to it, and then straighten. Here we go, around one, and two, and three. See if you can straighten. 
That's too hard. Bend that knee back up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Reverse. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, and eight. Good. Bring it down. Knees are here. Good. Nice and easy. Just open. And back together. When you're opening, think about is one leg going down further than the other? Do you have more flexibility? And if my right goes down a little bit further than my left? So I know where my challenges are. Open. There's one more. Open. And close. All right. On to our sides. Good work. Legless this morning. Oh, nice and easy. Okay. So you can either be all the way down like this or up. I put my hand in a fist. So I don't put the pressure onto my wrist, but I don't want you up like this because it crunches too much in here. So either down here or all the way down. Tummy in, press it strong and take it up and down. And the movement's up, two and three. And lift your arm a little bit and see if you can stay balanced on those hips. Eight more. And two. Four more. You look great out there. And six. Seven. Okay, here's the hard one. Hold this leg here and bring the bottom leg to the top. I have to put my hand here. I use my hand. Try not to use my too much. I'm going to bring it up and down. Do what you can. This is difficult. And eight. Right? And you might just keep it here. Just practice kind of lifting that bottom leg a little. You might only get this far like that. Okay. We're just going for eight. Three more. Six. Seven, right? eventually you'll get it. And eight, good. Okay, holding it here, flexing the foot and the movement's down. 32, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you should start to feel it in that gluteus medius. Four, five, six, seven, 16 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight more, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Soften the bottom knee, bringing this in and out. Good. And two for 16. And three. That medius, gluteus medius, should be burning a little bit. Just work through it. And five. Eight more. Don't forget about the tummy. <laughs> I don't just let it flop out. And three and four. Five. Six, I know it's burning. Seven, you got this. And eight, okay, we're gonna bring those knees in now to that 45, toes are together and I'm gonna bring it up and down. And two, three, and five. All right, try to bring the knees into the chest as much as possible. Yeah, and eight more. Two, three, and four more.
and eight. Like so. Okay, on our backs. And bring it over. And just take a little bit of a stretch. It's not going to want to stretch too much because it's pretty fired up. Those muscles, but we want to get a little stretch in there so they don't cramp. Okay. Other side. Here we go. And we'll stretch it again at the end. So that'll be good. Okay. Whew. On to our sides. And again, remember the first movement is going up. With the leg, tummy's here, going up and down, up and through. Six. We have no kittens today. They are upstairs, completely crashed out. <laughs> They're like <laughs> exhausted. I don't know what they do all night. Six, seven, last one, eight. Okay, hold that leg up. Here we go. This is a harder side for me. I'm using the left oblique, a little weaker. Let me bring it up and down. And two. And three. And four. Ah, uh, four more. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Good. Flex this foot on the top and push it down. Two. I'm thinking of squeezing the thighs together. And five. Six. Seven. And eight. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, and I should start to really feel that gluteus medius kicking in. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, soften the knees, bring that knee in, bend it, and then extend it. Yeah. And two. Uh, don't forget about that tummy. Get it in. Seven. Eight more. Last one and eight. Okay. Bring those knees in. Try to get them at that 45 and taking it up and down. And two. And two. Six. Seven. Eight more. Four, six, seven, all right, and last one. Ah, oh, good work on that today. Let's go ahead, bring it over, cross it over, and stretch. All right, grab a drink if you need it. We're going to roll over and go into our plank series. Oh, there we go. Coming into the child's pose first. And then look over one shoulder. Look over the other. From here into the downward dog. Go up, hips up, and stretch. If you have a hard time with this, just do what you can. You can stay in child's pose and stretch. Okay, alternate the heels down. Okay, 
hand in. So from here, we're going to take one leg up and then just push that heel down and get a good stretch in the back of that leg. Good. If you can't do this, that's okay. Just keep both feet down on the ground. Otherwise, stretching. All right, switch. And bring that one down and then really push that heel down. Gives you a good, good, good stretch behind that leg. Breathe. All right, bring it down. Here we go. Bringing it down into the plank and then right back into the downward dog. From here, hold one, two, and come back up. All right, let's try that eight times. Here we go, down. Now, if you want to on that one, two, you can shoulder tap it. One, two, and then bring it back up. Otherwise, you're here. Now, if you need to modify, you're here. So keep going. If you're modifying, you're here. And then you come back. Yeah, nice and easy here. And when you come here, don't release. That's a good stretch, but don't do that. And then come back. Right, you should have about three more. Mm. To the plank. Tap if you want. And two. And three. Okay. Let's take a break. Bring it down and stretch. Ooh, okay. From here, we're going to come up and then I'm going to bring my knees up. So I'm on all fours, but I've got my knees up. And I'm just going to hold right here, it's a little bear, little bear. And then I'm going to extend my out, out, back, here. Ah, keep my back strong. And here, here, good. If you're modifying, just stay right here. You can extend one leg out at a time, keeping that back strong. Right, this is your modification. You don't want to swoop in the back or anything. You want to keep it strong. The same thing when you're here in that bear. Back, back, in, in. Back, back. Two more. Last one. Good. Uh, and bring it down. Take a child's pose stretch. Come down. All right, nice work on that. Let's go ahead and stand it up. Grab a drink if you need it. And I will adjust the camera. There we go, okay. Good work on this Friday morning. Make sure you can see my head. Yeah, I'm cut off. Yeah, I give myself a little more. There, this one, make sure you can see my feet too. All right, there we are. Oh, let's take a stretch. Let's stretch out the calves really quick before we come up. We just did some good stretching in those downward dogs, getting in the back of the leg. Let's take just a little bit more. And the other side, we're gonna come up onto the toes. Grab your weights if you want. Using the light weights, three pounds, two pounds. Right. Okay. Feet are parallel. We're going to take the legs or the arms up to the side here. Remember, side is here, not back here. All right. I don't want to have my rib cage open. I want to keep it closed, tummy pulled in as I come up. So when I come up on the feet too, I don't want to be like this with that rib cage open. I have to be a little more forward. Okay. Weights or no weights coming up for 16. Here we go. One and two and three and four and five. Six. 
six, seven, eight more. These weights feel heavy this morning. <laughs> and two, and three, and four, three, five, six. Okay, putting those heels together and the arms coming up to the front. Tummy in, strong, no arching in the back, and up and in. Good, as you come down, squeeze the tush together. Make those two buns become one, one big bun back. Eight more. Three. Three. And four more. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, good. Now those toes together. And the arms are going to go in the bicep curl, or you can just keep them by your side here, down here. Otherwise, you're going to curl and down. Here we go. Coming up, one and two, three. Eight more. Two. Three. Doing great. Four, your calves are probably burning. Five. Good. Three more. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay. Good job. Go ahead and stretch it out. It's hard to balance with their toes together. It's just working a different part of your calf muscle. There, okay. And other side, stretch it out. Good. From here, we're going to take the leg to the side with the arms up. So you can use one weight or the two. If you're going to come up, remember when your arms come up, they're here, not back here. Because now my rib cage open, my back is arching, my tummy's popped out, everything's wrong. I'm here. It's easier with just one weight. You can even do it with a heavier weight. And then that way you're just pushing up and down. But you should be able to glance up with your eyes and see that weight. So if it's back here, I can't see it. Gotta be right there. Okay. All right, here we go. Balancing on to the right leg. We're gonna take the left leg up to the side with the arms going up for 16. Here we go. One and two. Hold that tummy strong. Three. If you don't have a weight, just lift the arms while you lift the leg. Four. When you come down, try not to put your weight on it. Try to keep this leg swinging the whole time. No weight comes on it. So I have to use this glute to hold me there. Good. Four or six more. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. Switch to the other leg. Make sure you're nice and balanced. Use this glute, squeeze, tummy lifted, smiling, no weight. If I don't squeeze this glute, another thing too is look what happens, right? If I'm relaxed in this leg, when I come down, it's gonna hit. So I have to squeeze and lift, and now it swings. Here we go, 16. 
One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, all right, eight more. Two, doing great. Three. Six, seven, and eight. <laughs> okay, stretch it out a little bit. And you might have noticed I was coming down on that leg. My left leg's a little bit weaker than my right. Well, sometimes it doesn't want to hold me there. Okay, here we go. Legs out to the side. And let's just take the A squats. And we'll just stay with the one weight. And as we go down, arms come up, down, and up we go. Down, arms come up, and two. Right, legs are wide, knees are over the toes. And four. Breathe. Five. Six. Good, come up and squeeze, and eight. Back is straight, right? And the tush doesn't stick out. Just coming straight down, and up. Two, and three. Four more. Okay, same here with the legs wide. If you have the one weight or no weight, it's up to you. We're gonna do, it's working the obliques and the core. I'm here. I'm just gonna come down, bend this knee a little bit, and I'm gonna bring this weight here. Now, as I come up, I'm gonna come up and I'm twisting my body. And it's twisting my body that's moving my arm. If you don't have a weight, same thing. Here, as I come up, I twist my body, pull the tummy in, and that's what moves the arm. So I'm not doing this with my arm. Nope. Okay, 10 on each side. Here, bring it down, up, twist. Pull that tummy in as you twist. And two. Three, you should really feel those, this exercise in your obliques. And four, five, six, seven, eight, what did I say, 10? That's unusual, but we'll go with 10. Ten. And 10. Sometimes I go with 10. Okay, so it's the other side. If you don't have a weight, that's fine. Or if you want to grab a suit, you can. Okay, here we go. Bringing it down. So I just have a little bend in the knee. And then I'm up, twisting that body, feeling it work. And down, up, and three. Four. Oh. oh, you can really feel this one in that four working. Seven. Two more after this. And last one. Okay, Whew. nice, okay. Let's go ahead and we're just gonna bring the leg up. We're gonna do a standing 
crunch. So I'm here, I'm gonna put my hands behind. You can keep the weight or drop the weight, it's up to you. As I come up, when I'm, I'm not lifting my leg, right? Because when I lift my leg, I'm using my hip flexor muscle as I'm lifting. I'm curving my body, and what's happening is as I'm pulling up my tummy and curving my body, my leg, I'm holding it, it comes up, see? And then it goes back. So I'm using this, and it's making that leg come up as I'm here. So my hands are here, looking forward, I'm, I'm here, feeling that tummy, moving the leg here. It doesn't come up very high. Okay. Good. And three. Tummy strong, back is strong. And four. We're going for ten again. Five. It's a slow movement. Four more. Eight. Nine. All right. The more I come over, the higher my leg goes. And ten. Okay. Good. Let's switch to the other side. So do it wrong first, right? Lift the leg and know that that is wrong. Mind to body, here we are. We're not lifting the leg. I'm coming over and my leg just comes up a little. Good. And two. Just keeping that balance. Three. And four. Woo. Doing great. Our focus is forward. Eight. Two more. Nine. Yeah. All right. Good job on that one. That's a tough one. Let's go ahead. Put the weights down. One last balancing with our lunges. Same arm as leg. We'll just stick with 10 on this. So my arm, arm goes up, my leg goes back into that lunge, and then I switch with the arm up. If you need to keep your hands by your side, you can. Just coming down and up, right, down and up. It's just a nice easy lunge, otherwise the arm's here. And up, that's four. When you come up, pull that tummy up <laughs> and pulling here. Good, keep going. Down and up. Three more. One, two, and three. Good. I'm feeling this glute, this glute get me up. Yeah? All right, switching sides. Same arm as leg, going to the back. Here we go. Down. This is pushing me up. Pushing me up. Good. And up. Holding me there. And two. Three. And four. Five more. Six. Woo. Seven. Try not to hang on. Eight. Two more. Nine. Oh, it's a tough one. And ten. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Woo. All right, let's bring it down to the mat for push-ups. We're almost there. We're 
Just gonna do 16, 16 push-ups, push-up, push-up, four push-up here, whatever works for you, and then we'll stretch it out from here. Okay, so push-up, push-up is here, coming down and up, getting that full range of motion or dropping the hips here or going onto your feet. Oh, keep going. Should have about three more. Yep, again, if you're here, very nice. And two, and three. All right, nice work, you guys. We're running out of time, so let's stretch it out. Bring the right leg forward and stretch. Yeah, good. Pushing into that hip flexor. And then straighten the leg. And lift the toe. Right. And this is also, if you ever do this, this is how you prepare for splits. Coming forward and then back and doing that a few times. And then eventually you can try and see how far you can get in your split. Some days are better than others. Let's switch legs. Here we go. But when I'm working with my little ballerinas, we'll do this for about five minutes. Back and forth, back and forth, and then just fall right into that split. Push that hip flexor down. And then straighten, lift those toes. Okay. Good. Let's bring it back down to the mat. Let's stretch those glutes one more time. Let's get us ready for the day. Cross it over. Bring it in and stretch. Three. Okay, and then switch, cross it over. Bring it in. Okay, let's go ahead and roll it up. And stretch forward. And just hold that stretch, nice and easy. Deep breath in, and exhale. And take the legs apart. Maybe it's a little easier this time. Just flick over and stretch over to one side. And bring the arm through. And other way, here we go, over. And then bring it down. Okay, stretching to the center. Here we are, maybe it's a little easier. Ah, see if you can get the tummy down on the mat. Deep breath in, and exhale. More deep breath in. Okay, bring the feet together. We can either bring them like this or this, whatever works, and stretch over with the head. And over to the other side. And my head's cut off. Hello. There I am. And then reach your arms up. And to the back. Stretch. Okay, give yourself a hand. Awesome work today. That was a tough one, but you guys rocked it.